The last item here on Dorma opening. This part quite technical, quite tricky. Alright. A dormer is what? A, a slope. When you want to create an attic, right? The, the roof here, this is a this is a sloping roof. Alright? And to create an attic means you have to punch a hole through here somewhere. Okay, to create that hole is called the dormer opening. To create that dormer opening, even in 3D Studio Max, it's very, very difficult because you've got, you got to aim at everything, measure, align everything nicely, then you can, you got to do a pulling to cut the thing up nicely. So, but in Revit, you can do so with the dormer command, okay, dormer opening. Huh? Prior, prior to doing this though, however, we need to select the roof, select this one big roof you will see down here that there is a command here called join or unjoin roofs and with this you can click on this now join unjoin roof and you can click on this smaller part of the roof you see it gets highlighted in a line because okay once you click on it you need to tell which part you want to join okay we want to join this part of the roof so that it forms up this way because it's a slope the slope and the other slope when it goes in it is different so it's going to look pointed all right so therefore we select this surface this is the surface we want to join it to it looks this way pointed now next after that we are going to click on the architectural ribbon click on Dorma and then what what we're trying to do is get Dorma to project or become lines that we can later use huh? so we click on this before we do anything you must tell Revit which roof you are going to affect in this case I'm going to cut a hole through whole opening on this roof itself so that's why I will click on this roof after this is done you'll find that the roof now gets grayed out and you can pick lines by default pick roof wall edges command will come out and you click on this okay once you click on the roof you will find that now the lines are being projected or drawn next we will select the wall here and you mouse over the wall this side and you mouse over the, over the wall this side it creates this do you see that there is a bit of a problem this part i want to bring your attention back to line creation again do you see that the lines even though the roof is a symmetric roof design uh, the lines being picked up is not symmetrical it's this one all right how do we rectify this how do we rectify this this is because when we are picking the roof we are picking the walls itself somehow by default Revit picks this side of the wall we can correct this by clicking on this icon here the flip we will flip it to this correct side here and then we will mop the lines up we will clean up the lines so it will form a proper loop this way and then with this click finish mm -hmm. so the job is done All right how do we know the job is done properly or not i will select this roof and then I will now isolate this element and you will see now that there is a dormer cavity a dormer opening created All right with this I will then reset and hide this this would complete the creation of the dormer opening all right that's I have that's all I have to share with you today for this pretty intense lesson Thank you very much for your kind attention and stretching it in this case. This thank you.